Good evening, everyone. Um, here's uh, another video that I've uh, decided to do today. And basically, it's uh, kind of a, a mix between my my workflow, um, what I normally use my Debian SID workstation for, um, and um, some of my DWM configurations. Again, as I reiterated before, I am using DWM 6.3. Um, nothing really fancy about it, um, but I will give you kind of a heads up as to what I am running in the configuration. So let's open up a terminal and we'll head on out to the location where I have everything stored at under the suckless directory within uh, .config and the DWM directory itself. Alright, let's take a look at the config .def file it's pretty much straightforward. Now, I, I am mistaken about one thing. I had mentioned that I am no longer using a SysTray. That's incorrect. I haven't removed that patch. So, I I am. It's there, but it's really not. I don't run anything that requires a, the the SysTray, um, except for the little red icon that you can see up there now, which is letting me know that I'm doing some recording. <clears throat> this will eventually come out, um, and in an upcoming video for my i3 um, setup, there is no SysTray in there whatsoever. Um, I don't use any applications that require a SysTray except for the recording, uh, and that's really it. So, um, to reiterate that, um, I don't use a network uh, manager applications, I use uh, Conman. So moving on, I have you can see that I have some uh, some gaps already set with, with one of the patches there. Um, nothing special here. My fonts are pretty straightforward. Most what everyone uses, um, or most people use. Um, I use the standard um, definition for the tags. I don't do anything special there. I don't see any reason for it. Uh, the actual applications that I am running, you'll see there's kind of a mix. Um, I've made this so that it's interchangeable between my Arch workstation and my Debian workstations. Um, I don't. I no longer use PAMIC uh, Manager. I use uh, um, uh, pff, something bin. Um, Peru bin, I think it is for my uh, for installing anything off of the AUR as a helper. But most of the time, I use. The default way of installing apps with the make package and stuff like that to do the the get the pull from the git. Um, but I don't I, honestly. I only have like two or three apps that I do have from the AUR. But in any event, moving along, you'll see that I have both Synaptic and uh, 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 the uh, Pac-Man stuff here. Um, I use Synaptic really basically when I want to peruse what's already out there from a graphical standpoint. Um, I don't ever use uh, uh, Synaptic as a as an install tool, um, I, I'm strictly um, app uh, app install. Uh, the app commands is what I use there. So uh, you can see that I have uh, what you see here are basically the applications that I run on a daily basis. Um, and I'll scroll down and let you see exactly what I have running here and why. Um, I have uh, some of the more typical things that you're that you'll uh, be familiar with. The D menu run, Scratchpad. I do have that up and running. Um, I use CalCurse um, for a calendar. I have some reminders set. As you can see, everything in blue um, are uh, scheduled. Um, things are little reminders. Typically, this is used for reminders of when you know particular bills are are due um, for the most part, or other tasks. If I have something aligned with work or whatever the case may be. So this I load up and it just stays in the background. I just toggle back and forth. In my case, it's the uh, the uh, uh, the mod s uh, moving forward and that of course is using st the, uh, the suckless terminal for that my uh, terminal of choice is kitty under Debian um, I can I have uh, alacrity installed but I really don't use it very much you'll see that I use a key pass XC for a, a key a password manager through an R, I also have Ranger installed, but you know, sometimes just the graphical is, is nicer to use. My screen shooter is XFCE4. Very, very nice. I really like it. Um, the What you see here is I had a, a document that I would pull up that has all the bindings 
that I use for DWM. Um, I could pull it up now, but really there's nothing in there. I don't have the... Um, I probably never reins, uh, never restored the file because it's it's probably so outdated. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's something that I picked up. I think um, DistroTube was had something crazy uh, program that, um, and I actually I thought that was kind of interesting to to have in the background. So here you can see um, these are the common commands that I use. This here, I'm, I'm, I know you're familiar with. This is just allows me to switch my my backgrounds at will. The P menu, I kind of, I took that idea from uh, Linux Dabbler, um, and that's just simply um, up in the left hand corner. It gives me my system functions that I want to go ahead and do. Um, very very handy. Um, and of course here the uh, the mail uh, application that I use. I use two of them. I use Mud as a daily mail uh, and that's the one that actually purges from my provider um, uh, other app, uh, the other apps that I use for like uh, my my uh, cell phone and and I, I actually run Thunderbird um, Thunderbird I, I use that to pull down mail locally and I archive it for long term um, so my provider I usually with uh, with mud it usually purges that uh, anything that's low, uh, older than 31 days again um, for for my password manager it's key pass X key XC uh, Thunar and for news I use newsboat um, I don't find myself using that very much anymore but um, you know to give you a kind of a quick idea what that looks like I think yeah it'll pull it up right there in another screen it's it's you know, this is this. It's it's been a while since I've been here. As you can plainly see, um, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been uh, that hasn't been read. So, moving along, um, there's the bindings. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary above and beyond that. So that is my DWM configuration. Um, let's go ahead and get out of that, and we'll exit uh, the terminal and as you can see the that key binding that I had will allow me to scroll through you know the different uh, the different backgrounds as I depending upon how I feel whatever the case may be so I mean it's you know really uh, everyone has their own version of it so basically the apps that I use in a daily um, scenario are um, KiCad I used to use EagleCad um, I think a version 7.1 or 7.3 before they decided to go the what I call the um, the Adobe um, nemesis where they it's now it's a you know it's a, it's a subscription that you pay for and you never really own it so it's you know one of those scenarios where you'll own nothing and, and like it um, the the old version of Eagle CAD it had the perpetual license it didn't matter you know um, before they went to the new um, pay scheme, and whenever they released an upgrade, it's, you automatically got it for free, which was which was fantastic. You know, you don't mind uh, you know paying for something like that. But um, I used uh, uh, Eagle to design my um, PCB boards, uh, teaching myself electronics. So what I do as a hobby, which I'll eventually turn into a part-time gig, is I build guitar pedals. Um, analog guitar pedals maybe sometime in the future it'll be digital um, but I find schematics on the internet create my own boards trial and error and design my own casings for them um, with my own uh, designs uh, decal it uh, I often typically use a, a white a cream uh, um, a white pedal that's already been um, powder coated put the clear coat, I'm going to put the uh, decal on it and then uh, put some uh, resin on top of that to seal it in and give it a nice hard um, shiny coat. Uh, kind of a long process but I get a lot of enjoyment out of that uh, mainly because I I do that um, to, like I said to teach myself electronics but I also use them, use them because I am a, um, I play in a worship team um, I'm a bass player and a guitar player so that you know it's it's dual purpose so along with uh, moving over to KiCad, I use your standard Office package um, that most everyone uses, the LibreOffice for, you know, semi 
professional uh, things there. Um, I do use Chromium uh, because that is work uh, for work-related applications. I do sometimes work from home, and um, and of course, being the the bass player, guitar player, I use Audacity and VLC. So above and beyond that, that is really the tour of my Debian workstation. Um, and as you can plainly see, um, I use Debian SID uh, because the applications that I do use in for work, for play, and for business, um, nothing is critical. The applications are not critical, so I can get away with using SID, and I have been for quite some time. Uh, so that's my, my workflow uh, on any given day, uh, the applications that I use. Um, I hope you found this somewhat educational. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. It's went a little bit longer than I really anticipated that it would. Um, hope you enjoyed it, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, upcoming this weekend will be um, kind of a walkthrough of my i3, but kind of a heads up. Um, it's not going to be a lot different than what you're seeing here. Um, I try to model it so that things are interchangeable. Um, I can't use SX, HKD, and Debian. I mean, I could, but anyways, you'll see that in a future video. Um, with that, guys, um, have yourself a great evening, and we'll catch you next time.